Sickle cell disease has largely been an invisible global health issue, mainly due to lack of awareness among the local health policy makers and the public. The World Health Organization reports that Nigeria contributes about half of the global estimated 300,000 newborns with sickle cell disorder annually, while Yobe State recently has a prevalence of 3.26%, one of the highest in the country. Fatima Afuni Bulama of Women and Children Hospital Damatru speaks on the number of cases recorded daily. There are so many cases of skill cell disease here in Agratum. We usually observe and catch out the cases of skill cell disease in many women. A group, Sickle Cell Disease Eradication Initiative, in partnership with Communal Support Foundation, is asking the state government to establish neonatal screening centers to minimize the deaths among women and children. If you will look at the situation with the skill cell disease, it has increased mobility and mortality, more especially in children. Because skill cell disease alone, it takes 8% of the children mortality uh, as a result of skill cell disease, which is a call for action, actually. We are trying to create awareness. We are trying to make people know that, yes, this is a serious problem. For you to have a one single case of sickle cell disease in your family, no matter how rich you are, you are a poor person. Because everything that you have in the family may be perished because of only one person. Today you transfuse blood, tomorrow you transfuse another blood, today you are in hospital, tomorrow you are out of hospital. This alone can prevent you to be productive in the family, to be productive in the society. The stakeholders who describe sickle cell as a neglected non-communicable disease are also asking government to pass a bill into law to ensure compulsory genotype testing for all intending couples.